Let's get to it. Well, I think I am no longer depressed that I don't have my Mita multi-tool bag right now. And check this thing out. Look, bad aim, you get an armor boost. So this weapon actually benefits me, Bad Aim's McGillicuddy. What's going on, guys? Mesa Fail back at it with some Destiny. Because you were looking at a fully leveled up Boolean Gemini, right? I guess this was the 347 Dynasty, I guess, uh, for House of Wolves. But yeah, it's the Boolean Gemini. You have no idea what I went through to get through this. Um, if you want, I'll maybe make a full guide as to what I went through. You got to do all the Petra quests. Then you got to do the Varix quest. Then you got to pray that Petra's going to give you the quest to finish this off. So look at that. See? You hit him in the body. Uh, we'll get into the perks and everything. But when you get body shots, you get an armor boost. And it looks like it stacks. You're going to see, see, look at it. Times two. Really, really cool gun. I absolutely love this thing. And it's perfect timing because I am so sick and tired of using my Sura Assault Rifle. Um, I got a Pulse Rifle too. You know, I'm going to go through all my stuff uh, pre-raid because we're going to raid Friday night. And everything that I'm bringing to this raid, I am definitely bringing this thing to that shindig. Now, the Petra uh, Taken War Story and also uh, the Varix one, all this quest you got to go on prior to this, which is called Lost and Found, are actually really damn fun. You go to Mars a lot and you fight uh, the Fallen, which is weird to see them on Mars. But finally got it. It's called Lost and Found. And I will tell you how to do this one. It's super, super easy. You just got to go to the Dreadnought and get 50 kills in the Hull Breach, 50 kills in the Hall of Souls, 50 kills in the Mausoleum, then fire up a Court of Oryx and then kill bosses. I just killed, I think it was two bosses. No, actually, I killed one boss in the Court of Oryx. Boom, it was done. So here Here's me turning it in, I'm gonna get it, and I'm gonna have it leveled up in two shakes of a lamb's tail because I fo uh, focus, uh, it's, let's see, 5.49 a.m., I've been up all night doing this. Um, I uh, pop a focus light, and then I just use a boatload of motes of light, and it's leveled up in, as I always say, two shakes of a lamb's tail. Who knows what movie that's from, I used it once or twice in you guys, but yeah, leveled it up uh, in full, and there it is, oh, the Boolean Gemini, I was gonna say Gemini, Gemini, but... I guess, right, was this supposed to be the 347 Dynasty? I don't know, enough of my babble. Let's go look at this bad boy. Now, I haven't used it in the Crucible yet, however, I think it probably would be pretty good, especially for people like me, I would say with shitty aim. Uh, if you get those body shots, you're gonna give yourself more armor. So, let's go in and take a look at the perks. You can see right off the bat, it's got unflinching. Now, I go with the uh, smooth ballistics. Uh, you'll see when I go and swap between the others that it actually affects the stats a lot. Uh, unflinching, I love that on snipers, and I like it on this thing. Perfect balance, so this thing is just laser accurate and or another. So bonus armor on non-precision kills stacks up to three times, or you can go one way. Bonus agility on precision kills stacks up to three times. Now, for the middle uh, section, I go with perfect balance, but you got hammer forge or a single point sling. Single point sling, if you want to go with the, you'll get a feel of the meta multi-tool again. Uh, you got aggressive ballistics and then accurate ballistics but when you go with smooth ballistics combined with perfect balance combined with unflinching I think this thing is just it's laser accurate uh, I can't wait to test it out in the crucible blade so a couple questions for you guys uh, do you want me to do a PvP review it because I actually can't wait to go into the crucible this thing and secondly do you want me to make a detailed guide of uh, what I went through to get this damn thing uh, I did record everything um, but I kind of, you know, you got, it, it's simple. You got to do the Petra stories, the Varric stories, and then eventually she gives you this lost and found. I kind of don't want to show you guys it because it's some really, really cool stories that I think you guys should experience. It's so fun to fight the Fallen on Mars. You're like, what the fuck are these guys doing here? But, sorry for the potty mouth, but it was a really cool story. You get, like, it's it, it's a fun, it was a fun day of doing it. And, oh, and by the way, did this whole thing solo, no fire team or anything, so it is possible to do it solo. So that is it. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Zip Twitter at Mason John. Check out my stream. Links will be in the description. That's it. I'm out of here, and I should probably go to sleep. 5.58 a.m. Good night, guys. Love you all.